Hey YouTube, iTechno11 here with iOS 7 beta version 1 or 2 running on the iPad mini. So this was just released today and here I have my hands on demonstration of it. So see this is just the startup screen when you update your iPad 2, 3, 4 or iPad mini to iOS 7. So you see the home screen is very similar to on the iPhones and iPod touches for iOS 7. You can see if you swipe up from the bottom you do get control center with all the same controls as you get in the iPhone. So that part of it is identical to the iPhone. And then if you swipe up from the top, you do get notification center. And for this, it does take up the full screen in your notification settings. And you see all your notifications, so you do have a, a bigger screen for notifications with iOS 7 on the iPad. Now you can see to get to your spotlight search, you swipe down. And you can see the keyboard looks right there. It's kind of the black, gray, and white, really flat style. You see inside folders what it looks like, and you have different pages inside your folders. It looks just like on the iPhone and iPod touches. It does look pretty nice and pretty cool. See inside settings, you do have the kind of split view, and it looks pretty much similar to on iOS 6, except it is just the new UI of it is a little bit crisper and cleaner on the iPad and iPad mini. You can see in interfaces on applications like music, for instance, when you open it up, it talks about iTunes radio. On the bottom, you can switch between your artists, your tabs, your playlists, your different uh, songs and stuff like that. Taking a look at the multitasking menu, it looks just like on the iPhone. You have your towel icons, which you can just swipe up to close. So it's basically the same as on the iPhone iPod Touch, and it's nothing new with iOS 7 here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out my other iOS 7 videos, and follow me on Twitter, iTechCore11. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, and I'll see you guys later.